Hey, this is Mike with Cal Sierra, and today I'm going to be showing you how to install a cutter module on a ZT410, 420, 411, and 421. And this is what we're going to be installing. So let's get started. First, we're going to turn off the printer. Next, we're going to lift up the cover. Next, we're gonna be removing this cover right over here. To remove the front cover, we're gonna be using a screwdriver to press in, there's a little hole right over here, to press that tab, and you're gonna pull it towards you until it drops. Then you're gonna lift up the printer, and you're gonna remove the cover. Next, we're gonna install the cutter. Feed the wire through here. There are two tabs right over here that will go on the, into the holes right here on the bottom. So we're gonna make sure that these will slide in into these holes. There are also two tabs located right over here. They're little like um, notches, so make sure that they sit flush over here. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna make sure that they are nicely lined up just like so, so that the screw right over here, screw, screw hole matches the actual opening. The cutter, cutter is installed, and we're just gonna be using a three millimeter Allen wrench. We're gonna be tightening up the screw that holds the, print, the cutter in place. And we're gonna plug in the cutter right here to the bottom port. Next, we're gonna turn on the printer. After that, we're gonna enable the cutter. You're gonna to go to settings. Into a print mode, we're gonna change it to cutter. And click OK. And we're gonna feed one label. And if you're satisfied with the cut, you can leave it as is. But if you see that using a perforated line, and the printer cuts to uh, short, you can change that option right here at the uh, tear off. And you can just make it smaller and then put it zero and then feed another tape label. And 